grab the, watch the virtual screen. Here we go. Let's pull. Oh. We've known about the expanding universe for, well, since Hubble's time. And there are a lot of ideas about what, what is our future. In fact, science is trying to ask questions about where did we come from? Where are we going? And one that is particularly interesting to me and many people is, are we alone in the universe? Uh, Hubble has shown us where we've come from. And remarkably, it's now told us where we're going. And it's not what we expected. The universe is expanding. We expected it to be slowing down. But in fact, it's speeding up. It's accelerating. This is an example of one of these spectacular images that uh, we can get with Hubble. The image that we're looking at is a giant cluster of stars in the GUM-29 interstellar cloud nebula in this region of the sky we call Carina. It's a very vigorous breeding ground for new stars. It's about 20,000 light years away from us as we look toward the center of our own galaxy. And the central cluster here is about 10 light years across. There's about 3,000 stars in that central cluster. Hubble's reach goes far beyond the scientific user community. In the 25 years Hubble has been operating, it has indeed become the people's telescope. Hubble images, no known national, political, or ideological boundaries. They are a subtle reminder that we are a common species on a small planet. There are no language or cultural barriers to being awestruck by Hubble images. Hubble's discoveries and images have been transformative for the public's perception of the cosmos. The images have become a cultural icon, found on coffee cups, record albums, and even tattoos.